Hello students, in this video we will discuss a question of projections of solids when the solid is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Let us discuss the question. A square prism with side of base 35 mm and axis 50 mm long lies with one of its longest edges on HP such that its axis is perpendicular to VP. Draw the projections of the prism when one of its rectangular faces containing the above longer edge is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So basically here a square prism is given to us. The square prism is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. It is resting on one of its longer edges on HP such that one of the rectangular faces which is passing through that longer edge is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So we will be first of all we will be drawing the view in which we are able to see the base of the solid. So base of the square prism here it is visible in the front view. So let us start drawing let us move to the AutoCAD. First of all here we will be drawing the front view. In the front view we will be able to see the base of the square prism and one of the sides of that base will be inclined at 30 degree to HP. So let us start drawing. First of all let us turn on ortho mode and draw an XY line the reference line right. Let that reference line be equal to 70 mm so one side of the base is equal to 35 mm let us turn off ortho mode and go to polygon command select polygon command number of sides are 4 press enter then edge method go to edge method right so we will be drawing a square whose one of the edges is inclined at 30 degree to hp right so we'll be drawing the square whose one edge is inclined at 30 degree to this xy line right so let us start let us click over here so i'll write at the rate 35 less than 30. So I'll draw this by ruler coordinate system. Right, so this is the base, this is the front view. Let us move this towards the right. To move command, take this as the base point, let us move it over here. Now you may increase the line weight. Make it equal to 70 mm. Increase the line weight for this XY line also. Make it equal to 0 0.40 or 0 0.35. Right. Let us name all the corners of the top and the base. Let us go to multi-line text command. Turn off object snap. Let us say this is a dash. Let us name the top as A, B, C, D and the base as P, Q, R, S. So I am changing the font style. Let it be Times New Roman. So this is A dash. Control C, Control V. 
let this be equal to b dash double click change control v this is c dash control v this is d dash let us name it over here then corresponding to a the point in the base let us name it as p dash then q dash corresponding to b r dash corresponding to c and s dash corresponding to d let us name the x y line also capital x And this is capital Y. So after this, now we are done with this the uh, front view. Let us draw the top view now. For the top view, first of all, we will draw the projection lines. Let us turn on the objects map and turn on ortho mode line command so from all the visible corners just draw vertical lines let us draw vertical lines from all the visible corners then from the fourth one like this right you can move this q dash somewhat towards the left so that it is not overlapping on the projection line let us read the question again now so one side of the base is equal to 35 mm and axis axis means the height height is equal to 50 mm long right so next we just need to draw the top view let us start drawing line command make sure ortho is on so no distance from VP is given to us so you can take any distance so this we will join the extreme projection lines and in this, di in this direction you will draw line of 50 mm then let us draw line, horizontal line again and similarly draw this line and then draw this line also select the figure increase the line weight 0.70 we had taken for the front view so the top also will take the same thickness of the line here this line if you see this will not be visible from the top this will be drawn as hidden line so we will select a hidden line let us load hidden line let us load all the hidden lines press ok so since this is hidden line the thickness of hidden line will be less it is a medium thickness line so you may take it equal to 0 0.50 or 0 0.40 also you can take let us select this as the hidden line 
so you may see like this header line is not visible so you can select the command lt scale increase the scale to 5 let us take 5 so somewhat you can see it is visible let us again select let us take the scale to be 15 so just see now it is visible so again if you want to change let us take it to be 20 so now it is perfectly visible right so after drawing the top view let us trim the extra lines extra projection lines so you can write t r and press enter twice let us trim these extra lines right now corresponding to a b c d one of the bases and the other second base which is p k o r s let us name all the corners in the top view so let us copy this a dash control c control v so this will be a now if you see here a b c d the base a b c d will be visible to me here you can see this will be directly visible to me and p q r s it is it will be behind or you can say at the back right so therefore whatever is visible to me directly that i write outside this figure i i have written a dash b dash c dash d dash outside this square right so accordingly i will be naming it over here control v this will be b corresponding to b dash double click and change it then this is c and then this is d next is so corresponding to p dash this will be p small p because it is the top view then q this is q then this is r and then s this is s now that we have completed the top view also let us do the dimensioning turn on object snap go to linear dimensioning let us show the height so this is equal to 50 mm as per the question given to us then let us select aligned dimensioning let us show the edge of the base which is equal to 35 then let us go to angular dimensioning select this line select this line this is equal to 30 degree as per the question right so this is the solution to the question given to us i suppose this question is clear to you thank you very much